This clip is about a modification to the LPG system that's fitted to a Reliant Scimitar GTC. The car is normally aspirated, that means it's got a carburetor. And so how the gas works is that it pulls the, the gas from here and it goes round to the back where there's, a, there's a, a, a thing called a stepper motor which allows a certain amount of gas and it comes through into the carburetor with like two gas rings and it pulls the gas in. Now that needs a certain amount of pull to pull it through. In, in a normal situation where I'm running on petrol, I fit a K&N filter to get as much air through as I can. But what you need to do is you need to restrict this air coming in here when it's on gas. So as you can see, there is a modification. I'll now move to the bench and show you more about the modification. Now you can see the workings. This is the variable flap and this is the solenoid. Now the solenoid is, is powered when you, when you turn the car onto gas then this is this is energized and it closes the flap. I'll just give you a small demonstration. Like so. So that's when it's running on gas, limited amount of air going through. As soon as you switch back to petrol, opens up and you get more air coming through. The block on the back here, this is an aluminium block, this is a heat sink for the solenoid. Now, if you're doing this modification, it's important, important that the stroke on the solenoid is at least 19 mil. A lot of the smaller ones are about 5 mil, which is far too short. This, this one's 19 mil, which works out just right. So you get quite a bit of difference between the variation between the two. If you need to follow this through and you want to get that particular solenoid, this is the uh, website of Farnell and also the stock number. Uh, all in all, with that, it's about £15. All right, thank you very much for watching this video.